And there is actually one more thing to do before we go back and do all our supports. One last little thing. Buy the support. Oh, it's Hanneman. I'll be honest, I was expecting Linhart. How are you doing, Professor? Would you care to join me for a cup of tea? Why, of course, how are, uh, Hanneman. Okay. It occurs to me that whenever we chat, I have a tendency hmm. to pester you with my questions and theories about your history. Yes, is this time going to be any different? It seems only fair to speak on the topic of myself for once. Oh. Okay. And perhaps you might feel more positively inclined toward my research if I shared my own story. Sure. So you just want me to help my uh, theory? Nah, you have my attention. I am quite pleased to hear you're interested. Yes, quite pleased. <laughs> well, I suppose I should begin at the beginning. Uh-oh. This is going to be a long story, isn't it? I was born into a noble house of the Empire. Not a large house, oh. mind you, but Your noble empire. all the same. Guess that explains why you uh, helped the Black Eagles and the... Uh, or why you taught the Black Eagles. Black Eagles. Our land holdings were small, but our bloodline was quite strong. So, as you can imagine, there were many of us in the family who carried the power of crests. I myself bear a minor crest. Right. Our family's abundance of crests may be part of the reason I've been interested in the topic since I was just a boy. That makes sense. I dedicated myself to my studies, and after years of effort, I became lead crest scholar at the Empire's largest research institution. Nice. So how did you end up here? Yeah. Uh, you gave that up to come here? Or why come to Garrick? Yeah. My research is more important than social standing in the Empire. There I had only Imperial blood, and thus Imperial crests. Ah, uh, yes. It makes sense then. So I came to Garrick Mark and devoted myself to my research Larger access during my to time as a professor. A wide variety of crests. My progress is slow, but with each revelation, I move ever closer to the answers I have sought for decades. Your cooperation as the bearer of the Crest of Flames ensures my research will continue to advance. Oh, well, I'm happy to help. In fact, it may bring me ever closer to the goal of uncovering everything there is to know. About hmm. crests. Something tells me uh, we're not going to learn everything. I do hope you shall continue helping me advance in this field of study. Of course. Okay. Together, we will solve the mystery of your crest of flames, and our world will be the better for it. I think so too. Shall we proceed? Hopefully, I don't go insane My like the previous bearer. I have a great number of tests I'm excited to carry out. No, no, don't worry. They won't hurt one bit. I don't believe you, Hanneman. That was interesting. Good to learn a little bit about him. And Imperial, huh? Alright, um... Oh, we're here. Support. Oh yeah, sure, let's start with Lorenz. And Hilda, okay. There's yet another option. A four. Lawrence, what are you doing? Trying to pick out clothes, perhaps? Oh, hello, Hilda. I'm using these pieces to represent soldiers oh, on the battlefield. Oh, strategic this thinking. Will allow me to better visualize concepts of strategy. I don't give you enough, cre uh, enough credit, Lawrence. You are diligent in certain matters. Very good. Is it fun? <laughs> Just like a board game of Risk or something. It is utterly engrossing. Look, swap out just certain pieces for others, and the board completely changes. <laughs> then, even considering the same types of units, employing different individuals calls for a new set of plans. Oh, I see. Or, I 
kind of <laughs> see. It's hard for me to grasp really complex things like this. Oh, Hilda, you don't give yourself enough credit. Nonsense. It's thanks to your many requests that I've been adapting my fighting style of late. Her requests to not be on the front lines and to not take hits that she can shrug off like a... I don't know. A gnat. Uh, buzzing around a heavily armored tank. Working to accommodate you has convincingly shown me how essential it is to rethink tactics on a continual basis. <laughs> Damn. After all, the risk of getting hurt is greatly reduced if you are prepared for any situation. The risk of Hilda getting hurt is very low. So now I will be ready for anything. And you are not the one who should be shielding her. Your defense is not that high. Lawrence, you're so wonderful, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not just saying that to flatter you either, honestly. <laughs> Tell me something, Hilda. Did you make all of these ludicrous requests of me purely so that I might have the opportunity to develop myself? No. As nice as that would be, no. That was not her primary motivation. Because if so, I am deeply moved. Thank you for caring so thoughtfully and passionately for my personal growth. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> but let's not uh, rip that rug out from under him, though. If you will permit me to return the favor, I do have one request to make of you. Will you hear me out? Uh-oh, run, Hilda. Uh, I'm not usually one for fielding requests, but I can make an exception in your case, I suppose. Doll. I would be so pleased to have the opportunity to observe you in action, in the heat of battle. Would you be so ah. kind as to oblige me? <laughs> oh, Hilda. Oh, very well. You've convinced me. But oh. if it gets too intense, you'll help me out, right? Hilda, oh. I'm proud of you. I really am. That's nice. Let's see. Linhart, who do you have a support with? Please tell me it's with Marianne. Rush. Right ton of them. All right, let's start with Marianne then, and then Hart. These ones look good. I probably shouldn't pick them though. Those things are huge. I don't think you could. Ah, Marianne, harvesting the crops. Oh, yes, Linhart. Um. Please don't make her cry, Linhart. Which vegetables are ripe and ready, but would you mind picking them for me? Oh, damn it! Uh, uh, oh, Marianne. Ah, uh, see, you've mistaken me for someone who sticks his hands <laughs> in the dirt. Damn it, Linhart. I do enjoy this side of you. I have to be honest. I'm just afraid that if this I touch you, sort of a uh, sarcastic side. Well, Damn it, Marianne, nothing will happen, I promise. Oh, I see. You're afraid everyone who eats them will suffer bad luck. Yes, it's true. I wouldn't want anyone else to suffer because of me. No one would ever suffer because of you. Marianne, that's simply not the way the world works. You see... <laughs> oh, forget it. Tell me which ones to pick. That's actually kind of nice of Linhart to be... Accommodating like that, even though. Thank you so much, Linhart. Oh, look at that smile. I'm happy to help, but I'm beat. You'll have to carry them yourself, so take them straight in, okay? <laughs> oh, picking. Um, okay. Picking vegetables has exhausted him. Oh, actually, before I go, do you mind if I ask you a question? Please do. I've been thinking, isn't it more the case your crest brings happiness rather than bad luck? Yeah. Wait, why? Happiness? I don't understand. Yes, happiness. Because your crest is so rare. It excites my mind and, well... This is actually really sweet coming from Linhart. If not for your crest, we might never have met. And I feel that would be a tremendous loss. Surprisingly sweet. Backbreaking as it was, I enjoyed today. I'm How? quite happy right now, and it's due entirely to your crest. How long were you picking vegetables for? How many did you pick? All day? 
But yeah, that is really sweet, though. Uh, I suppose so when you put it that way. But I... It's a huge breakthrough to know that your crest causes happiness instead of bad luck. This is incredibly sweet of you, Linhart. Like, to ridiculous... I, I see what you're doing. And I like it. I'd love to study it thoroughly, but only if you'd agree. Really, I just want to find a way for your crest to bring you happiness, too. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't. Oh, I damn it. To decline. I understand. May I ask one more thing, though? Could you please hand me one of those vegetables? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, but if you insist. Thank you, Marianne. I think this looks like a very lucky vegetable. God damn it, now I have to... kind of want them to have a shared ending now. One person who doesn't care about her crust. Oh, Leone with Linhart too. Oh no, final one with Shamir. Whew, guess that's enough for now. Gonna toss knives or shoot arrows into pictures still. You're improving, Leone. No doubt a result of your new training routine. Yep. Right, about that. I've been doing everything you said, but... Something wrong? Not with my archery, but... I'm not getting any better at dealing with bugs. Oh. Are you shooting bugs everywhere you go? Even with all the practice, I just can't bring myself to look at a real live spider. I don't blame you there. You're still aiming at the spiders I instructed you to draw? Let me see one. Probably looks nothing like one. Uh, sure. Here. I... What is this? <laughs> what do you mean, what is it? It's a spider! Leonie, art is clearly not your strong suit. Ah, yes. <laughs> I, I see now. It's quite... Well, it's... <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard Shamir laugh. That's uh, almost the uh, happiest I've ever heard her. Or the, the least, uh, uh, you know... Stern monotone. What's so funny? <laughs> I'm sorry. I lost my composure for a moment there. Your drawing is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I love how blunt she is. Ridiculous? That's what they look like, isn't it? Wow, you really have never looked at a spider directly, have you? Do you know how many legs a spider has? Or what its body looks like? Or ever seen one at all? Probably, apparently not. I just told you I can't even look at the little monsters. Once again, I don't blame you for that, but... Don't know what they look like at all? How did you find out you don't like them if you haven't even seen one? A lack of subtlety no doubt learned from your former mentor. Are you insulting Gerald? <sighs> Regardless, aiming at this target won't help you overcome your fears. Gonna draw you a horrendously lifelike version. Here, use one of my drawings instead. Consider it an apology for my outburst. Hmm. Oh, why did you have to be so detailed? Because that's what makes it effective. This much detail is necessary if you wish to identify your enemy's weak points. But seriously, why did you have to make it so detailed? I'm imagining it now and I hate it. Oh, it's too much. I can't stand the sight of it. This is guaranteed to help overcome your fears and improve your archery in the process. Shoot the spider, Mar uh, Leone. So, archery secondary now, is it? You want to be a peerless mercenary, right? You'll never accomplish that if you're afraid of something as innocuous as a bug. It's not a bug, it's a spider. It's so much worse. Um, but yeah, no, she's right, Leone. If we ever face a giant spider, I'm gonna need you to kill it for me. When you put it that way, I guess I'll have to. Okay, Shamir, you've talked me into it. There are these giant spiders you can fight. Then I'll move on to the real thing. A swarm of tiny ones are the more horrifying thought. Excellent. I look forward to seeing fewer spiders around here. <laughs> As do I. All right, Bernie time. We'll start with ooh, which one? Which one? We'll start with Lenhart. Weather for 
for painting. You enjoy painting? I didn't realize. I thought it was just, um... Ignatz. Or maybe I just forgot. Bernadetta? Who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> it's been too long since we've had this level of flustered Bernie. And I like the song. It's perfect for her. She is so adorable singing like that. It's just me, Linhart. What are you doing? Actually, aren't they from the same house originally? Painting! Just painting! Not important. Am I in your way? Not in your way. I'll just go. I'm going. Oh, Bernie. No need for all that. I just came out here to read. I'll stay quiet and still so as not to bother you. How's that? Oh, uh, well. It's a step, but I don't know if it'll be enough for her. If you want to go, that's fine too. Um, no. I'll stay. So long as you're perfectly still and perfectly quiet. If she hears a single breath from you, she will scatter. She's kind of like a cat in that way. Reading standing up. <laughs> You're just standing next to each other. That's awkward. Say, aren't you usually holed up inside? Yeah, she is. But apparently she likes to get out when she doesn't have to worry about running into people. Uh, I'm sorry! Sorry for coming here. I'm sorry for bothering you! Oh, Bernie. He doesn't look mad at all. He's a Linhart. He never looks mad. Oh, but I know. Uh, you have a good reasons for being as skittish as you are. Mad? At you? Never. I rather admire you, in fact. I fantasize about shutting myself in my room and never <gasps> going outside again. It sounds like paradise. Actually, now that I think about it, these two are made for each other. However, I wouldn't be able to perform my research. That, Bernadetta, is a problem. <laughs> what? You admire me? Nah! No way. I know a trick when I see one. What are you <laughs> plotting? I mean, she has one of the most fun voice actresses, I swear. Just all the right inflections in all the right places. So you want to copy me, is that it? And what's a copy do with the original? Replace it! <laughs> well, I've got you figured out. I won't just sit back and take it. I'll fight you! Yes, you do, Ernie. You've got it all figured out. What? That's not... Uh, this is too much hassle. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, Flinnard. I cannot wait for your next one. You are going to be supporting this shit at, oh, as an adjutant uh, uh, with uh, Bernie from now on. She's so, so hot and cold. Ready to fight one moment and fearing for her life the next. Uh, it'd be even funnier if it wasn't so tragic that her piece of shit father made her this way. Alright, Bernie. Have a nice long chat with... A decent father, Seteth. Your book of fables you let me set it. Hmm. It was so interesting to learn all about St. Indec that I read it cover to cover in one sitting. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember. He lent uh, you his book of fables, quote unquote, about St. Indec. Rather than a uh, biography or something from first hand knowledge. Impressive. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hmm. What's this sticking out between the pages? Is this an illustration? Oh? Were you supposed to find that? <gasps> no, nothing like that! I must have stuck it in there and forgotten! Just, um, give it back, please! Bernie, let's see it. Are you certain this was accidental? It quite fits the descriptions in this chapter. Oh! You are quite the artist. You are mo She's so talented in so many areas. She paints, apparently. She draws. She writes. She, I think she embroiders too. She is perfect ah, in every way. I see. 
you except for the her reclusiveness. You thought the visual would be helpful. Oh. No, 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 not at all. I was just fooling around. I have an overactive imagination, and I forgot to take it out before I gave you the book back. It's okay, Bernie. It really is a lovely drawing, you know. Now that I've seen it, the book would feel incomplete without it. <laughs> oh, Seth being a a good dad. I kind of want him to adopt Bernie now. But who is this man next to Saint Indec? I can't help but notice he bears a resemblance to me. <laughs> oh, um, that's Saint Keyhole. The book describes him as one of Saint Indec's closest friends. Oh, and he looks. Do you give a too good of a description there, Seteth? And he is one of Saint Index. Actually, no, Index is a, a what a cousin. Flame described him as an uncle, so yeah. Or no, not cousin. He would be a, his brother, rather. Or a cousin, I guess. I got the feeling he was a very serious man, but also really kind. You know, like you. Oh my god. So that probably explains the, um, resemblance. Yes, that explains it. I have to say, I never would have expected to be a reference model for Saint Keyhole. You know, his heart is racing. He's panicking inside right now. <laughs> what a curious ambulance. Oh, Seteth. Oh god. Fuck her dad so hard. No, what I meant to say is that I am both flattered and a little embarrassed to be portrayed in this way. Perhaps it is because in my study of him, I feel like I've also become a friend to Saint Indec. Good save, Seteth. Records show that Saint Indec and Saint Keyhole worked together to achieve great things. Though he is, like I said a while back, much smoother at this than uh, Flane is. Though he does have his slip-ups. If possible, I would like it if the two of us could similarly combine our efforts. She does have the crest of uh, crest of Indec, right? What? How do we figure into this? One of you is literally keyhole. The other is uh, has the crest of Indec. We each bear their respective crests, do we not? One might also say that just as I am this book's author, you are now its illustrator. You've been roped in, Bernie. He expects illustrations for at least half the pages. So why don't you do some more illustrations? And color them as well. We'll add them to the book. Excellent. You really want me to? I don't know if I'm good enough for something like that. <laughs> this is who you needed in your life. Some to give you encouragement and praise and yeah I really do wish he could adopt her and then go kill her father not her adoptive her real Flane and Linhart this should be interesting I wonder how much uh, Linhart, insight Linhart will have into Flane and who she really is. Maybe not in C rank, but now then, he's very where insightful is though. That book on dance? Hello, Flane. I'm curious if you could confirm some suspicions I have. Hello, Linhart. What is it? Are you Seth Lean? I've recently been lost in study on the topic of Saint Seth Lean. You're familiar with her life, yes? One could uh, say that. I know a little of her, as do many. But what does this have to do with me? Wow, I wonder if I would have picked up on it with some of these clues. I mean, looking out for them, they're so obvious, but uh, like her utter shock and surprise at that and the complete dodge. But uh, I don't know. I guess now I'll never know because I already know and I can't forget it. Interesting that you would ask that. Your question betrays your understanding of my inquiry. I am quite certain that it does not, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I have interviewed several members of the Academy and the Monastery. All agree that you have trouble focusing on detail-oriented work. 
Oh? As I mentioned, I have been carefully researching St. Cetheline's history, and I found several intriguing anecdotes concerning her life. Like uh, an ability to uh, focus? Granted, it is not stated explicitly in the text, but it is easy enough to read between the lines and get to the underlying truth. The authors of several tomes, all written within 50 years of St. Cetheline's passing, imply she found it difficult to maintain focus on detail-oriented tasks. You are way too insightful for your own good, Linhart. Then, just this morning, as I was studying statues of St. Cetheline, I came to realize how similar her visage is to your own. Interesting, no? I'll be honest, uh, Linhart, I have not seen it. Way too tall. Not enough green. Maybe a little closer look would do me good, but... I do not appreciate your disrespectful approach to this topic. What? No disrespect intended, I assure you. St. Cetheline is a major saint. I only mean to say that looking like her is an honor. <laughs> I actually meant that you are being disrespectful to St. Cetheline. Oh? I mean, it's one and the same, actually, but... There was one other item. If you must. You are quite skilled in white magic, yes? My understanding is that you have a very high affinity for the art. Yes, she does. Yes, I do. I am confident in my abilities. <laughs> I am glad of my abilities, for it is a way in which I am able to help others. Yeah, look at that smile. Indeed. Once more, an echo of St. Cetheline. I am so curious as to why such similarities exist. I guess the world may never know. Her crest? Perhaps hereditary traits then? Or is it possible I am allowing myself to see patterns where there are none? No, you are amazingly insightful. In fact, with all these, uh, I think, in any future supports where we have seeming insights, I'm going to have to pay attention to those, even for ones that I'm not familiar with yet. I am very busy searching for a book. <laughs> I will be going now. Oh, Flane. You couldn't be worse at hiding this if you tried. Alrighty then, Catherine and Lysithia, okay. Lysithia, do you have a moment? Yeah. I do. What do you need to speak with me about? I don't remember what your original was about, but... I was oh, right! about the time we talked about our crests bringing bad weather. Yeah, that. That was a fun one. Hmm, yes. We never did get to test that theory, since I haven't found any sun-bringing folks. <laughs> Joking aside, each crest is unique in how it impacts the bearer's life. It gives Marianne much misery. Not those around her like she thinks, just her. I've seen more than my share of crest bearers, after all. Some of them bore crests of Karen like us. Some even bore crests of Gloucester. Don't you carry both? Or no, not... Certainly, but I don't see your point. You carry two of them. I don't remember if the other one is Gloucester, though. I'm not a crest scholar. I don't know all the details. I have a knack for guessing a person's crest just by looking at them. Right? Forgive me, but do you have two crests? <laughs> yep. Uh, um, well? Is this, uh, is this, is it bad to have two crests, Lysa Theo? You don't have to tell me. I mean, it shouldn't even be possible to bear two crests. Huh. Interesting. So, if you do have two, you must be sitting on some major secrets. It's nice to know that someone understands. Huh. Is it harmful to have two? Of course. Everyone has things they would rather not talk about. For all you know, Catherine's not my real name. Maybe I'm an outlaw <laughs> on the run from my homeland. Mm, got the personality for it, but I don't think so. That can't be true. Can it? Stop messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. Though, who knows? Maybe there is some truth in it. My point is, no matter what secrets we're keeping, 
I'm still me, and you're still you. Yeah. I do worry a little about you. You never seem to let your guard down around other people. Not usually. Every now and then, though, with a few people. With A supports. That can't be easy. You know, it's important for you to relax once in a while. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know the meaning of the words. I don't even know the meaning of the words. Ha! Look at that. That's easy. Just gab with your friends about something pointless, and the stress will fade away. Yeah. I'm always happy to chat, if you're interested. Too bad it's your last conversation. Well, thank you. Why are you being so kind to me anyway? I just feel a certain kinship with you. <laughs> we both have crusts of Karen, and we both have secrets we can't share with anyone. What are your secrets, Catherine? I see. I will say I'm happy to have someone around who actually seems to understand me. Oh, I didn't realize having two crests was uh, such a weight on you, though. That sucks. Good. You can feel comfortable with me. Since we have the same crest, we're basically sisters. <laughs> Aw, I... I really like that. Someone as wonderful as Damn you as my big sister? Well, don't you just say the cutest things. That's my little sister for you. <laughs> God damn it, that was sweet. It's a shame they only have B rank. I would love to see an A rank between them. We have another Lysithia, though. Ah, uh, with Linhart. Of course. Aha, Lysithia. It's wrong to tease, yet I can hardly help myself. I know a secret. Your secret, in fact. Yeah, we were just talking about this, and of course he does. He is incredibly insightful. I think you mean a baseless rumor. Why are you wasting your time? And mine, for that matter. <laughs> a very different, uh... Tone. Well... It's a secret that could completely overturn what is considered common knowledge in Crest research. And that... Makes Lenhart very happy. Shut your mouth! Just... Uh, let's go talk somewhere other than here. <laughs> I do wonder why she's... What it is a... What would other people do if they found out, I wonder? Okay. Where did you hear about it? Does her family know? Do they have two crests? Did they do something bad in the past that resulted in it? There was a sort of accident in Professor Hanneman's room. Oh no. I should have figured. You haven't told anyone, have you? Of course not. If someone else were to learn you have two crests, I might lose you as a test subject. <laughs> it's nice to know your heart's in the right place, Linhart. <sighs> Please stop talking so loudly. So what if I have two crests? It's fascinating, if nothing else. If you insist on speaking of it, please do so quietly. My intuition was correct. You do have two crests. And that makes him very happy. Wait, what? Did you just trick me? Oh yes, and you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Stinker. Trick is, or is such it a sinker? strong word. I think of it as testing a hypothesis. <laughs> oh, I do like Linhart. The truth is, I simply made an educated guess. Uh, well, now that I've confirmed it for you, there's not much I can do. No, but don't worry, Linhart wouldn't uh, do anything too bad to you. I disagree. For example, you could tell me if you were born with them, or is the source magical? What does it feel like to use both crests at the same time? Is it pleasant, painful, euphoric? <laughs> Enough. One day she'll answer your questions, don't worry. I am done talking about this. As though I'd speak of this to the likes of you. Ouch. He was kind of uh, blunt I about understand it. understand her desire for privacy, but to refuse my request for knowledge? It's, well, it's rude. <laughs> and a uh, complete lack of self-awareness. I do like that about him as well. Let's 
Let's see, a couple more. Looks like four more, maybe. Hilda and Seteth. Oh, your last one was fascinating. Oh, it's Seteth. I'd better slip away before he... He's right there. You really shouldn't be so you should say that. Or just not, you should think that, not say it. Ah, I see you are indulging in a bit of reading. You are fond of books, I take it. Hilda, brace yourself. Yes, reading's one of my favorite pastimes. I was just finishing up, actually, so I think I'll... Slip out? Nonsense. Let's have a chat. That is most fortuitous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, fortuitous? How do you figure? Come with me. I have a story to share with you. Another story? I think he shared a story last time. A very, uh, intimidating story. I always wonder how much he knows. Once upon a time, deep in the cold mountains, there lived a lazy fox and an industrious squirrel. Seriously, how much do you know? The squirrel worked tirelessly all day long while the fox did nothing but lounge around and play. Right. When autumn came, the squirrel hurriedly gathered up acorns for the winter. But the fox continued to play without a care. I think I see where this moral is going. A biting winter fell upon the land. The mountains, caked in snow, concealed all nourishment from sight. The hungry fox went to the squirrel's dwelling, but the squirrel had locked up tight and gone to sleep. Smart squirrel. Every so often, the squirrel would wake, enjoy a nibble of an acorn, and then return to an <laughs> easy slumber. The fox, on the other hand, with nowhere else to turn, was forced to scrounge for food in the bitter cold of the forest. I enjoy story time with Seteth. Forlorn and hungry, he wandered in solitude all through the winter. Until spring came once more. He survived. And so it is to this very day that foxes are denied the comforts of hibernation. Hmm. Didn't go the way I thought it would, but, uh, with the ending there, but, um, the moral is basically the same. Ah, I really learned something about foxes. <laughs> <laughs> Not the point of the story, Hilda, but... <laughs> I read lots of fairy tales like that when I was little. Clearly, they didn't stick. But the lazy fox and the industrious squirrel, huh? That one, I don't think I've heard before. That is not surprising, considering I wrote it. I... He wrote it in dedication to you, Hilda. Oh! You wrote it? I did. When Flane was young, she loved oh. fairy tales more than anything. I would read them to her often. Oh, he is such a good father. This one, however is a more recent creation. Oh, yeah, no. I wrote it for the benefit of the children in the monastery. <laughs> Seriously, how... I just have to wonder if this is coincidence or, uh... Can't be, can it? So, what do you think? I'm curious to hear what sort of impression it made on you. <laughs> yes, Hilda. What sort of impression did it make on you? Oh? You you found it to be cute. <laughs> Not the what you were looking for, Seta. I can just see it now. You writing fairy tales for your little sister. That's just the cutest thing. And you've lost her. Honestly, to me, you usually come across as stern and overly perceptive. <laughs> but now I know you have a sweet side, too. I feel like I'm seeing you in a whole new life. He does have a sweet side. And a stern, overly perceptive sight. Except he's not very perceptive when it comes to Flane. That is not what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> I bet not. One more try with your A support, perhaps. I'll reveal the truth that uh, he's on to you. He's been on to you this whole time. Our Drothia and Linhart. Why, of course. Uh, 
This is lovely. <sighs> Just feel that breeze. Mm. Dorothea, whatever are you doing here? You don't sound too happy about that. I was thinking of relaxing here, but it looks as if someone else is lounging in my spot already. Mm, they both have the same uh, taste for spots. Taking a nap in public like this? Really, Lynn. The nobles look down on such behavior. <laughs> you do know I am of noble birth. I think that's her point. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just teasing. You never do act very noble, though. Why is that? Each person must follow their own way. This is how I prefer to live. Yeah, well, can't fault them for that. Even if some of the more pretentious nobles like to poke fun at my ways. Yeah. Oh, forget them. Doesn't that bother you? I mean, really? It doesn't hurt your pride or anything? I don't think uh, Linhart worries about those kinds of things. As long as he can study crests and uh, relax and sleep, I think he's happy. What use is pride? It doesn't feed nor clothe you. It offers no warmth on a cold night. First time I've heard a noble say something like that. I bet she respects it. Well, most nobles are... Oh, what is the polite way to say it? Fools. <laughs> yes, they are fools. As for myself... That is not the polite way to say it, but yes. My father is the Minister of Domestic Affairs, and he has pride enough for the both of us. Oh, yeah. For example, did you know he and the Minister of Military Affairs cannot get along, although they value each other greatly? Really? His pride gets in the way, so he can't make amends. That is why there was discord between civil ministers and military officers in the Empire. That's right, you're both from the Empire, aren't you? And so pride serves no good purpose in politics, either. So tell me, what use is it? Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if bad blood between civil and military leaders is somewhat unavoidable. Sometimes. The Minister of Domestic Affairs is in charge of all civil officials, so if they just give in easily, their subordinates would lose respect, right? I suppose. I get the feeling that if your pride isn't equal to the responsibility you bear, then you aren't fit to lead. An interesting point. Hmm. I honestly was not expecting a debate on the merits of pride between Dorothea and, uh, Linhart. Also, I happen to think pride can be quite charming. <laughs> and how necessary is charm? It just gets in the way of living your life. Well. If you lack charm, nobody will give you a second glance. Think, now think about this, Linhart. If no one gives you a second glance, how will you get them to let you study their crests? Right, which means more time for napping. <laughs> one track. Lynn. You can't really believe what you're saying, can you? I think he can. But I'm interested in seeing more of yours. If not now, then uh, eventually when I do the Empire. That's all of them. Whew. That was a lot. But we're done. Let's uh, get out of here. And uh, summon our... Alrighty, that is all done. Time for beginning our training for the week. Mm, that's too bad. Nothing special. No special instruction for anyone. It means no significant amount of professor points. That was amazing, Hilda. Something about Yes, it is, of course. Alright. Let's see this. Excellent. I know I'm gonna get faith for... Dorothea. And... Oh, he had him in, too. Yeah, Manuela. Now to keep polishing my skills. Wow, nice. Let's put it to the test. I'm getting the hang of it. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Physic. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my reason. I suppose it's working. Oh, damn, another warp. I could have sworn warp was dark magic. I guess not. 
guess, uh, let's, oh no, I was gonna say, I guess, uh, let's get the, uh, get to the low rank, but now she has plenty of time to get that, being A plus, A plus. Looks like it was an A rank thing, perhaps. All right, do I want to explore again, or would I rather fight? I'd rather explore again, I think. Ooh, before I do that, though, um... How much more do you have? 14 more experience. Oh, yeah. Then I might be able to consider making Omegas. I guess I could technically do that now. I mean, a mortal spawn. And then just switch your class. Yeah, I'll do that. God, she looks good in that outfit, though. I like the crimson. I think it would help with her strength growths as well, probably. Oh, I appreciate that, Dorothea. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to switch classes yet. I can change that right in the roster, I think. Yep. Dancer. Which is... Strength or beauty? Yeah, I don't know. There we go. Huh. My dear friend has been behaving strangely. He doesn't seem to have much of an appetite, but he's been neighing less often. I'm afraid he may be sick. That is totally Mary Aunt Marianne. Uh, you should watch him non-stop until you give him some nutritious hay. Nutritious? Nutritious hay. No? You wanted to watch him non-stop, didn't you? That's okay. Um, Alright, time to get out of here. We are finished exploring. Training up stuff. Yes, instruct manually, of course. And we're also finished with this seminar. Hello, Dorothea. I don't believe in the goddess, but hey, so if this is indisputably real, but I do believe in you. So you do believe in the goddess, okay. You've taught us all so much, Professor. You've even taught me to have faith. Put focus on, uh... Oh, go from focusing on sword and skill of faith to just faith, okay, sure. For now. Yes, it was. About Excellent. Ooh, nice. This will be helpful. Yes, it will. Maybe. Ooh, nice C rank. That should be a physic, right? Catherine got some um, I've got the reason. Of it now. Still a long way to go. Perfect. I'm starting to get it. Nice. It seems my proficiency has improved. Good. Looks like I'm getting it. Nice. Fantastic. All right. No supports to do. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of, I guess, this monster and paralog. Though we'll probably only end up showing the paralog. We'll see, though. First, though. Oh, geez, level 37. Yes, deploy for Western Church suppression. 
though counted as bandits. Interesting. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Looking good, Claude. Oh, we have enemies here. Oh, there it is. Oh, I thought it was like a dragon or something at first, but it's just a bird. King of Wings. Oh, rusted bow, though. Sword, lance, and axe users. So that looks like magic will be particularly effective against it. Yeah. It seems to be one of the weaker, and he only has one HP reserve. And only 70 HP seems to be one of the weaker creatures I'll have dealt with. Um, it's fast, but his defense and uh, resistance aren't... Uh, well, it's, resistance is okay, but it's defense is nothing to write home about. And his barriers are already half shattered. We'll probably just skip showing this one. And with that, we are done. That wasn't too bad. A little harder, but uh, not really. Took the opportunity to grow some of my weaker characters. Like Raphael and uh, Shamir and Catherine. But now, for the fun one. The Sleeping Sand Legend. Interested in learning more about the legend of... Ooh, Makiel. One of the four saints, Claude ventures out across the territory of Margrave Edmund to the Strang region. Or Strang, not Strang. Uh-oh, it's a desert map. Oh, boy.